Today I'm going to be telling you about three of the craziest and messiest situations I got myself into at school. From stealing, so when she wasn't looking, I stole them. To running a secret private story on Snapchat where I was exposing people's I want to start off by I never did I ever ever was taught to steal like I want to represent my parents a little different they never told me that shit was okay in fact they told me if they ever caught me it was that ass so I don't want y'all to think that my parents was just endorsing this like I don't it wasn't never none of that I was just bad as hell and messy. Oh, and I'm going to be saying some of the school's names just because some of these problems should not happen more than once. It really shouldn't happen once in the first place. But when you have, when you see there's a pattern of this weird shit going on, like why do y'all students keep getting in relationships with y'all teachers? That's when I have a problem and I got to start, you know, putting names out there and shit for your child's safety. But as of right now, we're not talking about that. That's all the way at the end. We're talking about right here, right now. This happened all the way back in like third grade. No, what year did Miss Peter? Yeah, it was third grade, Miss Peter, but you know, yeah, bring that ass here. She was one of my favorite teachers. Like, she was my first teacher at this school, but she was my favorite. This is, like I said, third grade, so we're all the way back in the boonies. Miss Peter had came back from Hawaii, and she had brought these three little, uh, like, sculpture clay turtle things. If y'all don't know, I fucks with turtles. Like, they smell like booty, but they are pretty as hell. So, she had a green one, a pink one, and a blue one, and they was hella cute, like marble, but it was, like, the shape, it was fire. Like, that was some hot shit. So, when she wasn't looking... I stole them. I took them from her and I went home with them. And so when I went home, my schedule wasn't like go from school to home. My grandma was the daycare. I'm showing it off like fishy. I wasn't saying that. But oh my God, but literally fishy. But literally they were like the size of this. And I remember she was saying how important they was to her. Like her mom got them for her and it just made me want to take them more. I don't know why. It just, I was an asshole. So I'm showing the daycare kids and whatnot. As I show them, I literally just leave them there on accident. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm cool. Like I've left stuff at the daycare before. I know I'm going to be there literally the very next day. And this is my grandma. So if I ever need them back, I can just tell her to bring them to my house. So I was, <laughs> I was cool. Y'all, why do I come back in the ridges in between the backs of the turtles, like on their shell? Why the fuck is there Crayola marker on them? Why? Who was playing in the turtles? Like, I'm I'm irritated. I'm not even thinking about giving them back to Miss Peter. Like, that wasn't even, <laughs> that wasn't even why I was irritated. I was irritated because I thought they were cute as fuck and y'all just ruined it. Y'all, I was so mad. I was mad at my grandma because, like, why would you even let that happen? Because let us have been a pack of them Newports. Let us have been playing in that and all your tobacco be on the floor. It would be that ass. Hey, this is how I got caught up just talk, talking, talking too much. I've always had a problem with running my mouth, clearly. One day we were in class and Miss Peter does like a little meeting and she's just like, you know, like, my turtles are missing. If any of you have them or if you seen them, let me know. Da, 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 da. Why do I take that as a sign to go tell a bitch I'm cool with in the class? Like, yeah, I got him. Look, <laughs> no ice. Like, bitch, you need some licorice or what? Hit me up, okay? Always trying to put bitches on game and hoes don't need to be put on nothing because why do I come back from recess that next period? The principal right there by my backpack. I knew what was up and I looked right at that bitch. I'm like, I just didn't know that I was caught. Like, I just, I was caught. I was scared. You know, you know that face when you get caught as a kid and you just look like, Oh, we know you did it. <laughs> You're coming with us, and you know it's that ass when you get home. From that day forward, Miss Pito had a vendetta against me. Bitch, what's your problem? I got my whooping. You got your shit back. Yeah, the turtles got the, the bags drawn on them. But, I mean, you could not have them at all. No, that's not cool. I'm trying to be funny, but that shit not cool. She had every right to be mad at me. But, come on. Like, <laughs> I need to learn this curriculum. Every chance she got, she had the... Like, she just took it. Like, every chance she got, she took it. She was mad as fuck about them turtles. Our school had this thing where if the, like, MSP, if y'all know what that is, it's like a test that used to have I'm not sure if it happens no more, but it was elementary school. If you know about the MSP, you were less bitch. Like our school used to always have like real good test scores. Our school took like the MSP and the like test real serious. So obviously we're kids. They're not going to give us like money or nothing. They're just going to give us some extra recess time here and there throughout the week. <laughs> you feel me? And nigga, when you leave class today, get you some gum. And it was always that gum that if you chew it for too long, it start feeling like a tire. You know, the little pink one with the yellow wrapper with the blue tips. Cavity central. They ain't giving no fucks about them teeth though. As long as you can read, nigga, we don't care if your teeth is rotten. Miss Peter was sitting down with her little ball and she would pass them out. You leave your hand down and she'll pass them out as you're leaving the class. Why do she give me two? I'm geeked up. I'm like, oh, are we cool, bitch? Oh, okay. You know, I knew you wasn't tripping about them turtles. I'm hella excited. I get to walking off with my food because it's the end of the day. I'm, I got to catch the bus 45 or what the fuck I'm going to do. Why do I get home to the belt on my bed? What did I do? Why did Miss Pito eat my mama talking about I took two pieces of gum and when the whole class left, she didn't get a piece? Oh, really, bitch? Really? That's what happened? So I'm trying to explain to my mom, and obviously I was lying so much about them turtles because I didn't want that ass whooping. She thought I was lying about this, but no, I'm being dead serious. The gum not that good. Oh, no, she caught me cheating on the test. It was that ass. <laughs> she never, she always kept me on my toes, so I had to learn how to just be a, a good student around her. But she cool people, though. Miss Peter, if you watch this, I don't got no beef with you. Just, I don't fuck with you. That's it. So now we jumping from third grade all the way to high school because middle school, I already told you about that, how, that, how I got in that ass. That boy tried to keep fucking with me. So when I first 
got into high school, I had this group of friends. They was actually cool people at first, but then when I told them I like, you know, boys, they didn't fuck with me no more, and that hurt my feelings. But I'm not gonna show you I'm sad. I'm going to be annoying as fuck, because I'm messy. I devised a plan. I also had this weird thing in high school where I had to be liked. Like, I just, everyone had to think I was cool, so I did find myself doing too much a lot. This is one of the times where I, cause I took it a little too far. This is one of the times I was like, okay, bitch, you, you deserved an ass whooping, but I didn't get one, because God loves me. And I'm too fishy. Hey! So I was friends with this one girl. We gonna name her Jalissa. Jalissa was a cool bitch. Like that was she. Was, we had the same birthday and everything. That's been my. That's my home girl. I mean, she a little, but she was real cool back in the day. That was my home girl. And Jalissa was real sexually liberated too. Like she was just all. She just was always a few steps ahead. Like in maturity. One day she was telling me how she would literally always send her news to her friends so they can post them on her close friends. And so one day I'm like, oh, I'm about to have me a little fishy close friends. Send me them. Now it wasn't no nudes like bear cuckoo and tatas, but it was just like her and her bra and her, you know her panties you know look at her fish so I had added a bunch of the kids that I was just I don't know why I was trying so hard to impress them and then I you know what I'm like let me wake this shit up this the guy was they didn't know Jalissa sent me that to be posted on purpose like they think that I'm doing it because I'm just messy and you know a little bit but not really Jalissa was on the story in two so she knew all about this I had these notes from some other people around the school don't ask how they got to me but they did and some of these people were some of the homophobic people that didn't fuck with me no more because I was gay or would you know do shit to me because I was gay or say shit to me or you know it was just always a lot it was a lot of that back and forth getting to me I let that shit slide I'm like you know let me post some of this on there too nothing too crazy I'm not gonna post you know Nah, I'm lying. Yeah, I did. I post. I posted everything. I didn't put the people whose you know pictures those were in the story, obviously. But I put a lot of their close friends in there. Cause why does why do you why does your homegirl know what this look like? And that was where I fucked up. This particular group of people, they had that weird incest thing going on with their friend group, where they all Loki fucked each other and they was all kind of cousins. Wait a minute, hold on. This video was sponsored by SA Tigers. SA Tigers is a resource made for college students like y'all to help y'all ease through y'all college experience. We know y'all stressed and getting them box braids every week not gonna do nothing but make you bald headed. Do, do y'all wanna be bald headed? I don't think so. After clicking on SATigers.com, fill in all the requirements for your exam from due date to number of pages and sit back and collect your good grade. It's that simple. Click the first link in my description or use my code KeysYT for 15% off your next order. Period. Uh, there she. Don't say I never did nothing for y'all. I not with each other, but like these two might be cousins, this two might be cousins, and these two are just real close best friends, but they all have done their little bop together. It was real weird. I don't know why I wanted to fit in with them anyway. No, this is what happened was when I got pressed, y'all. Let me tell you. So I'm walking to lunch and I'm feeling it and I see this boy and I'm like, what's up? We gonna call him, um, we gonna call him Dylan. So Dylan come up to me and I'm like, what's up? And he's like, bro, so what? What's up with you? I knew what I knew what he was talking about, but you know, I hit him with the, what you, What do you mean? So bro, why are you posting my nudes on your story? Wait, that, that wasn't even me for real. That was Jalissa. I just let her log into my account and do it because I didn't want her to get in trouble. I had no idea what she was posting. Just lying. Lying and scary. Why you, why, what, no, hold up to that shit. Hold up. Now mind y'all, y'all remember my other, other story time. I have gotten jumped before in that same, that same vicinity, mind you, the vending machine that I got jumped out was literally two paces to the right. I didn't want another ass whooping. And mind you, another group of football niggas, all of them flocked to me. I'm like, oh, so you taught the whole the whole group chat, huh? <laughs> but you know, then I kind of thought about it. Well, I mean, they all can't be hitting me all at once. Like, if I hide that head, I might get some stomach shots, but I'm gonna go out with <laughs> like a real ass bitch. So I'm just like, okay, let's start rolling down my backpack. You know what happened last time? So that's how they snatched me up. He said, man, if I catch that shit happening again, it's up and walked off. Mind you, bitch, I'm with my friend. I'm like, hey, bitch, you're not gonna tell nobody I'm scary, right? Cause, uh, <laughs> I might have to kill you now. Yeah, um, that was one of the times where I felt like I did, I deserved the ass whooping. I delete, oh my God, no. And let me tell you how I almost got caught, but I really finessed my way. I, this is how you know I'm messy. So it's the same day, way later in the day, it's like six period. Like five minutes in the class starting, the security come and get me. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, it's time to start deleting shit. <laughs> but I got to be smart about it. So he's telling me to come. I'm just having a, like a conversation with him. He's like, what are you doing on your phone? Like as we're walking to the other building to go to the office. I'm like nothing i'm just on my phone why are we talking what's up girl mind you i'm deleting that story i'm deleting everything in that phone like you're not about to come catch me this is where they fucked up you don't never let a bitch who you know lying keep talking because she'll talk to you all the way until she ain't got to no more to that bail post and girl <laughs> 
Saved by the motherfucking bell. It was time to go home. I had a bus to catch. Mind you, I didn't even really have a bus to catch. My homegirl Faith was driving me home at the time, but I told them I had to get on the bus because the, the bus leaves, then how am I gonna get home? So I don't know. I was literally like skating on thin ice that whole week. Like I could just tell that the energy was tense and I had class with a lot of them niggas. Now this happened at my high school, Kentwood High School. This school literally has been some of the like craziest shit I've ever seen. So one of the first times I've ever dealt with anybody being openly racist to me was in this school. And I actually have the video private, but I'll put a screenshot of it right here. They brought a sub in, and this isn't the school's fault, obviously, but the sub was talking to us about slavery and told me and like the rest of the other three black kids in this predominantly white AP class that black people chose to be slaves and we chose to be oppressed. And mind you, he was never even really fired. He just wasn't allowed to work at that school, like the high school I went to specifically. Another thing that happened that was crazy was like these kids broke into the theater and set like a new sub and like fucked up the whole theater. And this, it was just like, what's going on with my school? But this, oh. Hold on, not my track is showing. Y'all wasn't gonna say shit. <laughs> that was weird. Like that was hella weird. And this is not the last time that this has happened at the school. It's happened another time since I've graduated. So there was this teacher I had. His name was Mr. Brennan. Mr. Brennan, if you're watching this, go straight to hell. I hope you get shot in the kneecaps, nigga. And everyone used to make fun of the way he looked. He was so awkward looking, very very pasty. You know what I mean? There's a picture of him on the internet, so I'm gonna put a picture of that nigga. Very You know, so everyone will always make jokes to each other like he looks like a uh, like a pedophile. He looks like this. Oh, he looks like he'll touch you. Because da, da, da. We, we're dumbass kids. Like, we didn't understand the altitude of what we were saying, but like it was just the vibe he gave off. He was always extra nice to the girls. And I saw this especially because obviously me being the like one only fruity nigga in the school, I was friends with like all the girls in the classroom. So he would treat me a little weird and I'd be like, it can't be because I'm gay. He looked like he like butt. So I don't under, it can't be that. But I'm like, maybe it's just because y'all are girls and he He's just more of a gentleman than women. He's trying to, I don't know. That's how I just chopped it up as. I went the whole rest of the year and he was my teacher and that was just that. was just that. So the next year comes and a whole lot of shit happened on Snapchat where everyone's confused. I'm like, well, let me tap, let me tap in. Let me find out what's going on. A bunch of police reports and screenshots with Mr. Brennan's face on it, basically saying how he was charged for stalking a girl for years that went to the school. And I'm like, whoa, my science teacher, the same one we were, oh, okay. So we knew he was stalking this student for years on a, like a private Snapchat. Snapchat, and I'm not sure if it's one Snapchat or it was multiple, but he stalked her for years on these Snapchats or Snapchat, whatever. Like I said, I'm not sure. And I say I'm not sure because if it was one Snapchat, I couldn't understand why she just wouldn't block this person. So I'm assuming that it was blocked and then it kept going and going and going and going and going. He was sending the girl nudes, videos of him doing stuff to himself, all types of crazy like text messages. Then my bitch ended up gagging his nasty ass. Yeah, nigga, you're caught, nigga. Bring that ass here, the police is here, nigga. One day he wore one of the shirts that the girl recognized in the videos and obviously I'm sure that his hands were in it so it probably she probably started clicking a lot of buttons started making sense and then she confronted him about it and this nigga said yes but then this nigga kept doing it but then this nigga invited her for a study session after class in the science room now if you don't know what the science room is how our science department was the classrooms are all lined up down the hallway but in between the science room there was like a room that had like a bunch of just science materials in there i'm not sure if every high school did it but that's what my high school did and also in that room it would be like the little thing that you use like if your eye you the flush your eyes out like stuff like that but mind you this nigga ain't even have her as a student. But it doesn't stop there. Allegedly, he went to her job like three times, the first time by himself and the other two times with his family because she worked at a family entertainment center. If you know what Family Fun Center is, right there in the Tuckwilla-ish, yeah, you from Seattle and you too ghetto. Take your ass back home, nigga. So anyways, after the gag of the story, let's get into what my messy ass did. I had the nerve to take it to TikTok one day. This is um years later. This is um 2020 when I was just starting my TikTok and I was thinking to myself in Ohio, like I need a real gaggy story. And then I thought about it like this is public information and I'm not really saying nothing that I don't know. I mean, it's basically all the stuff that I just said to y'all, but I dragged it along a three minute TikTok. I made a story time and that shit went viral. It got like 900K views and I was gagging. <laughs> I was gagging. But then I get this text message from this bitch on Snapchat and I'm like, who is this? Me just being thirsty for followers, I add her back and I'm like, what's up? She basically told me her name and she didn't explain like the full story, but she just said that some of the things that I had said the first time, like when I was, just, I clearly was just making shit up, being messy. She asked politely if I could take it down and I didn't have to, but I did because I'm respectful and it's never that serious. The views was nice and this was my one of my first ever viral videos, but it's just like, what's more important? Some clout or being an asshole and just keeping up somebody else's business? 
business on my page when they clearly told me that they would just rather have it taken down. She actually ended up giving me permission to put it back up. She was just like, if you could take down this one part, like that'd be fine. Cause that was all the parts that was untrue. And that's all the stuff that I left out, obviously telling y'all this time, but nah, I just took it down all together just because I don't know. And then at that point, bitch, I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to tell y'all story no more, but I'm cool again. So now I'm using your permission. And that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if y'all like this. If you do, let me know. Everyone keeps wanting me to keep doing story times, but y'all like, I. <laughs> like I'm like I'm almost like damn they ran out not gonna lie and there's a lot of shit that I want to tell y'all but I just can't cause it's like family stuff so if I give some permission from my parents I might gag y'all a little bit but we gonna see it's very slim so I think I'm gonna start incorporating like this three in one mini story time thing if y'all like that if y'all don't then let me know but yeah I appreciate y'all so much love y'all 100 times kisses on both cheeks follow all my social medias if you haven't thank you so much to SA Tigers for sponsoring this video I love y'all bye